So this thing is a camera that flies, also makes you tea. No, it doesn't make tea, but it should hopefully follow me in a minute. All right, so, yes, I've got confirmation it is following me. All right, let's hope it doesn't crash. I'm hoping you can hear me fine through the app. Now, this doesn't need a controller. I mean, yes, it's got an app, but it's not completely necessary that you use the, you know, the app. But if you do want to record your voice, then yes. It's the uh, Hover Air X1. I think it's awesome. <laughs> it's just a, it could do some really cool stuff, which will, you know, we'll show you in a minute. Right, so the Hover Air X1 weighs less than the mobile phone. I think it's 125 grams and it's foldable as well. So just folds up nice and compact like that. You have six modes on the top. Now I'll just run through these quickly. Hover. Right, so you've got Hover. That will put the camera up in the air and it will stay stationary and just move and follow you and film you wherever you are. Zoom out will zoom the camera out to whatever distance you set and then come back as well. Follow. Follow will, well, it's just followed me into this church, so that's basically what that will do. It'll just follow you wherever you go. Orbit. Orbit, it'll do a circle, 360 round you. You can set this to do three circles, for example, if one's not enough. Bird eye. Bird eye which faces the camera down and goes up. Now you can set this to do different things like rotate as it descends and ascends. And you have custom. a custom dolly mode. Track. Now I've set this custom mode to dolly track, which will, is like follow, but the camera's in front of you. So if you walk forward, the camera will go forward as well. So we'll just show you some of these modes and see what they look like in you know real world terms. So this is orbit mode at 2.5 meters. It's just spitting with rain at the minute, so hopefully it won't come crashing out of the sky. You'll notice that you can hear my voice and you can't hear the drone. That's a good thing about this drone. Noise cancelling technology and um, yeah, jobs are good. Em. Right, so this is the zoom out feature to send it. And we are, we are, we are sending over a gap as well. Cause if you look around there, the, we're on top of buildings at the minute. Red light means record, okay? And when it goes green, it's stop recording. Yeah, so this has got a maximum sort of speed of around 15 miles per hour. So any more than that, and it just kind of loses you and it's, it'll stop hovering where it is. <laughs> you leave it behind. Yeah, you do. We have <laughs> we have done that before. We've left it behind a couple of times, but that's, you know, we've, we've gone beyond, beyond the capabilities of the, you know, the uh, hover air. Now, whether it's a drone or not, I don't know. It's got it's got four props and a camera, so you could argue it's a drone. But as I said, you don't need a controller for this. Everything is done automated. It's, it uses AI to sense where your body is or face or whatever object it's following. It doesn't follow pets, by the way, or vehicles. It's just people, I'm afraid. But it's um, I think it's going to be a really, really useful bit of kit, and it's very, very smart and intelligent. It's very simplistic to use as well, so anybody can kind of work it out, really. Yeah, two buttons, a power button and a mode button. You just tap the power button once it's on, and it just takes off from your hand, and then it'll literally come, you put your hand underneath, and it lands back down on, down on it. Fold it up and pop it in your pocket. It's less weight than an iPhone, for example, so that that's how light it is, and it's... Uh, yeah, it's just, just so, so compact. Right, so this is the hover mode. Basically, this just follows you around so the camera will stay in a stationary position and, you know, just face whichever way you're facing. So it's just going to follow her around this quarry on her bike. Um, doesn't seem to matter how far away you go from the camera. It still it tracks you surprisingly well. So this is the dolly track mode I, I actually really like this one it's like having your own personal cameraman flying in front of you and it's uh does give a nice perspective as to you know having someone behind you oh uh, it, be <laughs> it beats running backwards filming somebody doesn't it <laughs> yeah this there's a funny thing though because if you could get a little off center to the camera drone thing it, it kind of 
flips around onto the side of you which you know which looks good and you just uh, something to be aware of though and um, then it kind of turns into sort of follow mode and then starts following you so i don't think you're going to lose it and you can do some cool things with it but sometimes it does go a little bit nuts but you know it stays with you right so i just want to take a quick look at the hover app like i say the app is not necessary but if you want to it's just connected there that's what that beep was so it, it does connect really easy you don't really have to do anything but to to enable voice recording it does it all automatically you've just got to have the app open you can lock the screen and it still record you know your voice onto there onto the files when you download the footage from that to there it syncs it all up and everything but not only that you can change lots of settings for so for each of the modes you can change different things like let's have a look so bird's eye for example so when the drone's going up you can change it so it rotates as it's going up and down lots of different things like follow mode you can you can set the height that it follows you like high low flat you know things like that so there is lots of uh, different settings to tweak to sort of get what you want out of it basically it just downloads stuff straight to your phone it's like really quick and easy and it doesn't take long to do but you can also have manual control so if you want to control that manually like a conventional sort of drone then uh, this will enable it as well smart preview so you can see what the uh, what the camera's seeing on there but it's uh, it is definitely worth having if you know if only for the voice I do find it records your voice better if you're a bit, you know, give yourself a bit of distance from there. I think you'll you'll get better results with an external microphone connected to your phone. But the um, yeah, the apps the apps really good. Right, so just going to show you the bird's eye mode or bird eye mode as There's they a call it. Bird with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> We've set this to seven meters because there is a bit of breeze in the air, and you know, I don't want it to got a building behind us so I don't want it to land on there either. Right. So. Right, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me through the app. Uh, you know, the audio is usable. It's not as good as a dedicated camera, but uh, you know, so it seems to be, you know, holding okay in the wind. I think 10 mile an hour winds it gave today. Probably a bit more up there. Perfect. Right, so giving you a bit of a closer look. USB-C, so you can charge it with that or you can connect it straight to your PC for transferring files if you don't want to use the app. Two buttons, power and mode. Press and hold to turn on click the power button to go between the modes. Now you can change the settings on this without having the app. So basically what you do is select the mode that you want. So let's go with zoom out. Zoom out. So if I press and hold the mode button, nine meters, 1.5 meters, three meters, zoom out. So you can obviously change settings without the app. You can do it straight from the, uh, from the camera, which is pretty cool. One axis gimbal, the rest of the stabilization is done in the software, which is it is really good to be honest. That's it unfolded, so just fold it there. It's got mag magnets, so it, it does lock into place as well. Same, same when you close it, it sort of snaps shut. So yeah, nice little compact unit. Next to a mobile phone, you know, that sort of size, so you can fit it in your pocket, although I wouldn't because the cage is quite delicate to be honest. And the battery is in the top, just there, look. Whilst we're on the subject of the batteries, the battery charger, one button, tells you the battery status. This charges the batteries up in 35 minutes, whereas if you do it in the unit, it does take a bit longer, so it is something to bear in mind. And 11 minutes filming time with each battery, which doesn't sound a huge amount, but in reality, you can get 20, 25 shots. Yeah, pl plenty of battery life from from those two for, a, you know, your average video. So this has got to be our favourite bit of tech for 2023. It's just so simple and light and 
just as a disclaimer we have no experience of controlling and filming with drones it's just uh, all the shots that you've seen throughout this video have been fully automated and orchestrated by this little thing one of the things i really really love about this is it's just so simple to use it's kind of one button for on and off and then just press one button till you scroll through the modes like anybody could use this it's just so so easy yeah the app's good i mean you can have full manual control you do need an operator's license but you don't need to do you know you don't need a drone license as such as two different things there but yeah it's just it's just so small and light and simple no gps to lock onto we know friends who've got drones and they spend the first five ten minutes trying to get it to connect to satellites and things yeah. before you can even launch it this is literally take it out your pocket press the button and it's up in go. the air <laughs> it's filmed you and it's back down back in your pocket and you know conventional drone is still being set up so uh, yeah i've got nothing bad to say about it to be honest no, highly recommend it it's brilliant for like wild camping hiking biking anything you want to do to capture things it's so good yeah if you just want to film your family and stuff on holiday it's um yeah it's a good little thing you can't fly it over water they say because the reflections are it's too mirror like and this uses cameras on the bottom to it's got separate cameras and sense there to sense the altitude so uh, you know don't fly it over water i don't know what will happen it might might, might dive <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so that's the uh, hover air x1 definitely worth checking out and uh, as always thank you for watching